Why does Alex Jones claim that Sandy Hooks was fake? He thinks the government staged it so they can have an excuse to take away everyone's guns. Because there are a lot of people who believe the government is trying to take away Americans' right to bear arms. So they staged the Sandy Hook shooting to show the dangers of lax gun control laws. Alex Jones knows his fan base largely believes that tripe. So he fed into it, fueled it, and lied about it to bolster his ratings and hawk his merchandise. Because of all that, there are literally millions of reasons why Jones spreads such lies. Short answer. Money. Long answer. Instigating fear and anger is the best way to make people lose any rational thinking. Which is quite useful when pushing the inevitable sponsor after the monologue, making crazy theories. Also alienate his audience from any of rational friends that would make them snap out of it. He's not stupid. He already said on record that his radio character was an act. It was brought in divorce court as his ex-wife quotes the show to paint him as unstable. He's just plain evil. Using cult leader tactics for financial gain. He makes 20 million United States dollars a year from it. It started and grew his multi-million dollar business, selling conspiracy theories and merchandise. Because he can generate fake outrage and conspiracy and then use it to generate a lot of money. Because the fake outrage helps him sell dick pills. He's mentally ill and he gets rich from other mentally ill and otherwise pathologically gullible. People. If you're the only guy who validates stupid people's opinions. They'll flock to you and you can sell them vitamin supplements. Unlike everybody else here, I believe Jones does not act alone. The entire Republican narrative since Trump's ascension to power has been to sow discord among the population. It doesn't matter that they lie, are inconsistent, or say stupid things. As long as we argue and fight among ourselves, divide and conquer, because it makes him a lot of money. He says stupid things so that stupid people will listen to his show. There was a few things that happened directly after and during live news footage that didn't line up with the mainstream narrative, such as one of the live feed news helicopters filming a guy running away from the school being chased by two policemen into the forest that was never mentioned again. Also at that time they said there were two confirmed shooters. Also one of the parents whose child had just been killed went on to give an interview but was seen laughing and smiling seconds before he thought the cameras were live and then hyperventilating himself to appear more upset. The only other thing I can recall ATM is that one of the bus drivers took a group of kids to his house to get them away from the school but it turned out that whole story was fabricated. There was also something about how the weapons were found in a nearby trunk but I don't remember what that was all about. I see the rest of the comments not really answering your question so this is just my two cents. Not saying it was a hoax but Alex Jones took these details and used them to create a different narrative that lead people to believe it was staged by the government and he didn't back down when people were telling him to stop. Even more so he leaned into it and it got people to go after the families of the victims. He made millions of dollars off it. I think it should be said that not all conservatives are right-wing nut jobs any more than every Democrat is far left-wing. Alex Jones is out of his mind crazy. I really feel for the families that lost children who were forced to listen to his ranting. He's evil. So he can sell dick pills and outrage. He is an attention vampire, good or bad he feeds off of it. Ratings Or breed fear and divide us into a race class war.
a war against each other on a whole. While the 1% laughs and controls the narrative, I think the big thing was saying they used crisis actors which in a sense could be somewhat true. How many people the day of an incident or shortly thereafter want to discuss about little Tommy? Being slaughtered probably not many. So then the government threatens or pushes little Timmy's parents to sue Jones for speaking the truth. Because you can't speak against the big machine. If so they will covertly ruin your life by any means necessary. He's just an instigator. Also he's very stupid. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.